Good afternoon guys, I just want to make this probably very windy video just to really reiterate what Car Guy said the other day at the end of his Tangle review. I just find it amazing with, with all the strange little things that have happened since I started Movie Club and all the friendships that I've made and all the people I've met and the people I've spoken to. Least of all being Philip DeFranco. Yeah, I just think it's crazy the things that have happened since I've joined Movie Club. And like I said, the people that I've talked to, the friendships I've made, the bits of hair that have fallen on, the people I've met. It's just been crazy and full of coincidences and little things that you might call luck, you might call chance, but it's happened. There's another car coming. So yeah, I just want to really just tell anybody who is maybe on the fence about joining Movie Club, I just think if you've got the opportunity and you've got the time to watch a movie, make a review, I would say do it. There should be nothing stopping you from doing it. I didn't for a while because I didn't have a camera, but then as soon as I got my camera I started doing it and I've been very, very, very inconsistent. But despite that, it's been amazing and it's changed my life. What you might call coincidences, but just so many little things that have like knock on each other, like the domino effect. It's just one thing leads to another, leads to another, leads to another, and it's crazy. So first Phil has this idea to start Project 30 and get people to send in reviews. That's one thing. People like it that much, they decide to carry it on as the LTA movie club. And then you start to get like the upper echel e echelons, echelons, I don't know how you say it, of the movie clubbers that are like the top guys, like you've got car guy, and maybe Bones and Log Cabin Guy. And they're like your movie club celebrities, I guess. So then Car Guy one day decides to do a live stream and there's a car coming. So then the rest of the movie club or the top movie club people start doing live streams as well. So then one day I'm just on the internet and I come across a Car Guy live stream. He's doing one, so I join, whatever, there's a few people. And that starts to become like a regular thing. And then like around the same time I get my camera. So I do a few reviews. I think I got featured after a few, and I started to really enjoy it. And this is all at the same time as Car Guy doing his live streams and whatever. And it all just seemed to happen at the perfect time. Now, then I went on holiday over the summer. I went away to visit my mum in Turkey for like seven weeks. So while I was away, I didn't participate in movie club, I didn't do any live streams, anything like that. And then while I'm on holiday, Google launches Google Plus. And I am, I'm lucky enough to get an invite from the editor of a magazine funnily enough. So yeah, I joined Google Plus just really to have a look, not really do anything with it. I didn't really know anybody who was on it. It was just a bit of fun to have a look around because I was interested. Then, this is where it gets interesting. I come back from holiday and like a week later, I have like a few famous people in my circle, some YouTube people. Then a week later, Matty Holmeyer, the editor of the PDS, he does a public hangout. Now, I didn't want to just join it because I thought you might not have done it public by accident or whatever. So I just left a comment saying, do you want me to join? Because there was nobody else there. And he said, yeah, go for it. So I joined and it was me and him talking for like maybe half an hour. And then all the movie club people who would be doing their own hangouts joined this one. So then just completely coincidentally, I had been Luckily, I guess, throwing to a hangout with Matty Holmeyer and Car Guy and a bunch of other people. I'd never spoken to them before in my life. I didn't know any of them and it was just coincidence. But then all of this seems to have happened for a reason because then we started doing this more often and more often and we do it more or less every night now. And I know these people quite well that I'd class them as good friends and it's been crazy. Then it just so happens that Phil decides to do a trip around Europe so he comes to London last weekend and a few of us that are from England decide to meet up so we go to the meet up. So like a few of us go to the meet up so we meet up in London the event gets cancelled, loads of other shit happened, I met Phil, it was crazy. But just so many coincidences that have made my life better. So basically the moral of this story I guess would be if you have the ability to review a movie and you're just on the fence and you don't really know what to do, just do it because you never know what might happen. And loads of other shit happened, and then... Fuck. <coughs> I 
the things that have happened to me since I've started movie club. Cars again. These are the problems you have when you film outside. Fucking hell. Just come out with some fresh air and fucking cars everywhere. But yeah, crazy things. So many cars. More cars, cars everywhere.